Good evening all and welcome back to another ham fam. Um, this time I'm going to do part two on programming of the TID radio or TID radio uh, TDH3. Um, just a couple of little things uh, I've come across, uh, one with help of the people in the comment section also pointed something out for me. Uh, last time you may remember when I was programming it I was saying at the end that I was able to get it, I couldn't actually type in a GMR, GMRS frequency indirectly, but I was able to do it other ways. Well, it turns out that this radio actually has all these functions built into it. And, and if you go to the TID radio website, you'll see there are three different versions. There's the ham version, the GMRS version, and the, I think I can't remember what it's called, unlocked version or whatever. Um, but they are all the same radio. It just depends how you turn it on and what you select as to what firmware gets installed or firmware becomes available. So first of all I will show you that on this radio. What you have to do is you have to push and hold the PTT button, then you push and hold the um, asterisk key or the, yeah it looks like it, well, yeah that one there, <laughs> push and hold then you turn the radio on. And you'll see it gives you an option for ham, GMRS, or normal. Now, mine originally came with a ham as a pre select, so I could select all the ham bands and program them no problem at all. But when it came to FRS and GMRS, I couldn't do it unless, of course, I used the frequency copy. And there's another way to do it in the software, but there's no point in me covering that anymore because all you have to do is you have to turn your radio on this way the way I've done it and select normal and it allows you to do them all so one thing to note though is when you if you select one of them whether it's one two or three it doesn't really matter it will wipe the memories in your radio so you'll have to reprogram again um, but I've already set mine to normal and now I was able to program the GMRS and everything into it no problem at all what this does with licensing I'm not too sure but as I say, it's just uh, informational. Uh, if you are concerned, then stick with the one that you know you're allowed to use, like the time GMRS or whatever. Uh, but I turned it to normal and it works. Um, so I'm not going to reset it now. Oh, actually, shall I reset it now? No, I'm not going to reset it now. Um, so I'll just turn it off. Now then, there is something else that um, uh, in my earlier videos I pointed out is that you have one USB, oh, it's a bit blurry, you've got one, uh, hold on, turn the light on. You have one USB-C connection here, and one USB-C connection there. Now, I initially thought they must do the same thing, but they don't. If you plug in your um, USB-C into here it will charge the battery so now I do have one here so I'm just going to plug it into the battery and you'll see the battery light charging light get yeah, comes on there we go it's green I mean sorry it went uh, green then it went red now if however I plug it into this one let's put it into here and we turn the radio on. Welcome. Now then, let's go to my computer here. Go to device manager. And my device manager. Let's go to com ports. And look at that. Now then, I do have two plugged in. So if I unplug this one, you'll see what happens on my screen. Okay, you've lost one of the com ports. Now I'm going to unplug my usual one that I, that I use all the time. So I'm just going to plug it now. Okay, and as you can see it's gone. I'm going to plug this one back in. And as you can see, it has a built-in programming port. 
So all you really need is the USB C air cable, and it can I believe your power uh, if you use it to charge your phone, it should work. And once it's USB C, I've just plugged into the back of the computer, and it's working. So just to show you guys again, I will close this off. I will unplug it. Remember the radio is on, so I'll turn it off. Okay, I'll just uh, load up Chirp here. <clears throat> There's a new version, I'm not going to bother with that now. We go to radio, download from radio. At the minute, it's giving me this. So there's not very many good, no ports here. Com2 is definitely not it, it's a, it's a serial on this machine. Okay, so I turn on the radio. Welcome. Plug in the USB and go to radio, download. Oh, look at this. Com port 4 has appeared. So if I click on that and I tell it it's a TID radio. Oops, T. And it is the H3. Now it's the H3. If I use ham, let's see what happens here. It failed to communicate the radio. Mismatch. As you see, the radio restarted. Now that is how I did it last time, if you remember on my video. If I select the GMRS, it's going to try again. And it's going to fail. Radio is going to restart. But now, it is the TID H3, which is the normal version. Now we click on OK, and click OK, and go. And it now reads it. So when I first got this radio, it was obviously programmed and set as a ham. I've gone in through that little quick key sequence there and changed it to normal, and now I'll be able to program it. And there's all my FRSs and GMRSs that had an issue with last time. Remember if I highlighted it in that particular, um, that particular frequency, and he moved away, this would flash up and say it's out of range. Now it doesn't. So, there you go. So if you get a TID radio in the H3, it doesn't matter which one you get. All you have to do is run that PTT and push and hold the, the DTM or the star button and turn it on and then you set it to normal and it'll put the radio into normal mode which will mean it'll work with ham, radio, ham frequencies and GMRS frequencies. So that's nifty. And also you don't have to buy a particular programming cable for this. USB-C is so common these days, I'm sure you've got one lying around the house that you plug into your charger, you can just plug into your computer and away you go. Um, there's also the um, the Bluetooth function as well, I can't really forget about that. But anyway, that was just a quick, a quick one on this radio for the things that I've discovered. You may or may not have known it, if you do then great. Um, so please help help the channel by subscribing, liking, Seven threes. Good night.